Hey, good morning. It's Friday, November 24th, and uh, we made it through the night in the duplex tent, and um, it seems really great. It'll take a little bit of getting used to for me and Jackie, because, uh, you know, we're used to that giant Seed House 3 tent, and there's just a lot of room in there to uh, pack things up and stuff. So it's a little tighter than that, but that's what you'd expect. But I think it's going to work out just great, and that's where we had it set up. And um, it's about 7.20 right now, and we're going to try to push about 15 or 16 today, and we'll check in with you. We're going to do about two hours and then stop and have some coffee and stuff like we did yesterday, so we're going to get moving. Well, there's another shelter right down there, if you can see it, right in the middle of the shot. And uh, there's a lot of shelters through this section. That's at least the third one that we've passed in like 20 miles. So I uh, went down there to see if anybody had stashed any water since this is a long, dry stretch. Figured if they did, we'd stop and use a little bit of it. Um, maybe have a coffee or something. I made some this morning, but I wasn't paying attention and it boiled over, so I just kind of wasted that. But we're going to keep heading that way, and I think the first water was supposed to be about eight miles from where we started, so we're going to be keeping a sharp eye out today for any water, any, any pools of water, anything we see, we're going to get it, so... We'll check in with you later. Beautiful out there. The camera does not do that justice. I mean, it's like four mountain ranges. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit without it getting all grainy. Guy hitched a ride on Jackie's backpack. We're just stopping to take a break. Hey buddy, what you doing over there? I'm trying to see if I can get him to move. You okay? You're gonna have to move, I gotta get Jackie's bowl out. Okay. I don't know if you can see that through there, but right about center screen, it looks like there's a fire a couple ridges over. Just noticed a whole bunch of smoke over there. I thought it looked pretty cloudy, but uh, it's really beautiful out there. It's kind of hard to see through the trees, but hopefully um, we'll come up and though maybe there'll be a clearing up there, we'll get a better shot of it. So we'll, if we see anything, we'll stop and let you know. We're coming up to a creek down here and it looks like I saw some water back there, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to find some down here. And if not, we're just going to hike up and downstream until we find some, because we're down to about a liter. And I'd just rather go ahead and find it here, play it safe. So, we'll see you down at the creek. Well guys, this is Blocker Creek, and... I'm guessing the trail doesn't actually cross it. Um, it looked like we were close to it for a while and then we started climbing again and I could see water but then we were way up above it so we kind of came to a low point up here 
the trail is just right up over this little ridge and uh, I just decided to come down here and see if we could grab some water real quick. We did see some pools of water up there so Jackie had pretty pretty good drink up there but this is all we have left. It's just one bottle so we're gonna go ahead and fill everything up and grab a liter. Blocker Creek. Our next water source, I think there's a shelter and there's fairly reliable water there about three miles ahead. And then there's a Blakely Creek that is, uh, if we can make it 17 miles today, we'll be right there. And so it's kind of what I'm hoping to do is get over there and maybe we'll be near some water. But we're going to keep moving for now. It has absolutely turned into a beautiful day. I'm just hiking in a short sleeve shirt and it feels great. Still a lot of color back here. Well, hey guys, we're just passing mile 150 here, and uh, it's a little afternoon, we've had a couple stops, but we've made pretty good time today, and uh, we're only going to try to go about seven more miles to that Blakely Creek, and hopefully there'll be some water around there, it'd be nice to camp tonight near some water, but uh, yeah, so we're making really good time on this trip. Um, 10 miles in. Look at that. Right next to the trail. <laughs> wow. Sometimes you just never know. And a bridge. I don't see too many of these. Really nice pool of water over there. Coming under the bridge and out. Oh yeah. Man, if we hadn't gotten water back there, this would have been great. But we're loaded up now, so you just never know. We're gonna keep on moving. Looks like we're gonna be going up. Well, there is yet another shelter on the Washita Trail, and that is like the fourth one we've seen and this one is supposed to have fairly reliable water around it I can't really see over the edge here to see if there's any down there but of course we don't need it so we're just gonna cruise on by and keep pushing towards Blakely Creek oh, I can see some water from here I don't know if you'll be able to see it but right down in there I can see a big pool of water wouldn't you know, carried that, <laughs> could have just carried one liter this whole way, but, oh well, you never know, especially this time of year, late November, things can just, you know, be really dry, so, at least we have enough to get us through, and, uh, you know, I gotta worry about Jackie too, it's not just me, so, I gotta make sure he has enough water, so I'll probably have him get a big drink out of the creek down here that way he can save the water he's got a water bottle in his backpack he's got like one of those little smart water bottles so I'll have him drink up down here drink as much as you need boy
You good? Are you full? We got a bridge over here too. Yeah, there's plenty of water down here. I mean, it's little pools, but that's fine. Actually, it looks like it's running a little bit right down there from under that rock. I can see it moving just a little bit. I found Arkansas water to be generally pretty clear and pretty good. It's hard to stop filming in this <laughs> section. I mean, the colors are just really popping through here. This is so beautiful. The yellow, red, orange, green. I really did not expect it to be this colorful this late. But wow. So beautiful. You just <laughs> turn the camera on and leave it on, but I won't bore you with that. So when you're walking down the trail and it's these kind of old logging roads, you know, really easy and you kind of get comfortable while you're hiking and before you know it, 
it just suddenly cuts off, takes a left turn into the woods. And now it's marking everything right here. It's got the double blaze, which of course indicates that's a left turn. You're coming this way, showing a right turn. And uh, I was just so looking at everything, and I guess up in my head, we walked right on by it and kept going straight here for pretty good ways until I thought something doesn't feel right I didn't see any blazes and so we turned around and came back to where we you know started finding the blazes again and sure enough there's a big sign right there there's even kind of a log rock thing <laughs> to try to steer you off that way so uh, just so you know I've been hiking a long time and it's easy. It's easy to get off the trail if you're not paying attention. Well, one more mile to Blaylock Creek, and we're going to look for a campsite over there. So it's about 3.30, so hopefully we'll get over there around 4, find something before the sun goes down. I want to try to find something really good, so we'll see you over there. Well, we made it to uh, Blaylock Creek, I think that's the name of it, and... It's not looking good. <laughs> um, I walked down that way a fairly good ways and didn't see anything, so I may check the other way just a little bit, and if I don't see anything, we're going to just look for a place to camp. We're about three miles from Highway 7, and I think there is a east fork of the Saline River there, so we should be good. Well, this isn't really the campsite we had hoped for. We went up and down the creek back there. And, uh, hang on, I'll tell you the name of it here. I can find it. Blakely Creek. I think I called it Blaylock earlier. Anyway, Blakely Creek is just dry in both directions. We walked up a good ways, both directions and just couldn't find anything so I just found this relatively flat spot and we're just gonna make do because we are beat we did over 17 today and I think I got a much better pitch on it today second uh, time to set it up and it's just a little weird for me to get used to staking out a 10 I've always done the freestanding big Agnes and uh I rarely ever stake those down. I just threw all my stuff in there and got in. And the only time I ever staked it is if it was raining and I had to put the fly on. Other than that, never once. So, getting used to it. Didn't take me too long to set it up. And I think it looks better tonight. So, we're going to make some dinner and watch the sun go down over this ridge up here. It's getting low. And, uh... We'll see you in the morning. Jackie's already beat. Huh, Jackie? You ready for some ramen noodles, Jackie Boo? Good night. So on this hike, I've been doing something a little different. Um, instead of bringing mountain house and really expensive stuff, I've been bringing ramen noodles and uh, just heating up water and put them in a freezer bag. Just kind of let it sit there for 10 minutes and then pour a little of the juice on Jackie's dog food. And man, does he love it. And uh, I actually tried one at the house before I came out here and it works great. Um, so 
it's a really cheap way and they're super light and I just already have them packaged in the baggie and before I open it I just crunch it all up and then open it inside the baggie and dump it all out it's been working really great and uh, also been doing something a little different for breakfast if I can grab one of these I've got some granola Let's see if I can get that to focus and I got some breakfast bars in there but if you can see them I've got some dried blueberries in there and uh, I do have some dried bananas in there but I don't know what happened to them I can't eat them this morning and they are not good so probably won't do that again but the granola and blueberries for breakfast uh, seems really good so so I'll let you guys know if you're interested in trying some different stuff this is working out great for me, especially this freezer bag cooking, uh, mostly because of the cost benefit. I mean, I think I bought 12 ramens for like $2, so I mean, they're like 20 or 30 cents a piece, and so that's hard to beat. So uh, we're going to let it hydrate here, and we're going to eat it up. Jackie is waiting. He must be hungry. He's eating leaves and sticks. Maybe he's flossing. I don't know. We'll see you.